All right, let's get started. So you've got your square paper and we're gonna be creating a spiral. So right in the middle, I'm making a dot and then very lightly with my pencil, I'm gonna draw a pretty wide spiral. Make sure it's not too tight. You want it pretty loose. All right, so I'm going to demonstrate to you a couple of different ways of creating your spiral design. I'll start by showing you how to use markers and I'm just going to color right on top of that very light spiral line that I drew in pencil with markers. And of course, I like rainbow order, so I have mine in rainbow order. You could use a couple of different colors if you choose. You could use the rainbow order. Please avoid black, and you can overlap your colors just a little bit. Um, sometimes colors will mix to make a color you're not expecting, like brown or gray, so just be aware of that. And you're just gonna work all the way around on top of that pencil line that you created, overlapping ever so slightly in your colors. All right, now comes the fun part. You're going to use water and a paintbrush, and you're going to use that to blend your markers to make them look like watercolors. You will want to clean your brush between colors so that you don't just blend them all together and make one sort of muddy color. So just go right on top with your wet paintbrush, blending them together carefully. If you don't have a paintbrush, you may certainly use a tissue or paper towel dipped in water and use that to spread the color. Now, of course, you can use watercolors if you have them. So start with your dot in the middle and a loose spiral. Make sure it's not too tight. Very lightly in pencil. And then you can use watercolors to paint your spiral. This time, I'm going to use just two colors. I just wanted to illustrate to you that you don't have to just copy me. You could use any colors you like. Now, I would steer away from black and brown, obviously, or white, uh, but you can use any other colors that you choose. And I'm just using this magenta and this sort of sky blue in a pattern. Now, allow your paint or marker to dry and then take a look at the pattern examples that I attached to the Seesaw page. There are a couple of different uh, pages there for you to use for pattern ideas. Of course, you can come up with your own patterns if you can think of some. Now, you're going to want to use something to draw with, not just a regular pencil. You could use a black marker, regular marker, a black colored pencil or a sharpie. Now make sure your sharpie has a skinny end. I'm going to use the regular markers to create my patterns on top of the spiral. So I'm going to use this pattern example sheet as sort of inspiration 
And for each color of the spiral, I will create a pattern inside that color. Now, if you want to, you can draw in pencil first and then trace with your marker or colored pencil if you choose, since it's hard to erase marker. What I'd like you to try to do is make sure you use lots of different patterns. Don't just do one type of pattern for your entire spiral. Try to change it up each time. It's okay to repeat it maybe once more, but try not to do it more than twice in your pattern. And I hope you have a lot of fun creating your spiral patterns, and I cannot wait to see your finished work. Have fun!